Now, I've seen a lot of these shoes and what Verdi does online and stuff. And I guess visually, I don't mind them to look at, right? You've got this plush, soft, corduroy, pile, fuzzy fabrics going on with the shoe. Those are nice, bright, pastel -y type of colorways on there. It kind of looks like one big happy smile. Am I the only person that thinks a lot of these shoes that Verdi does for Nike, especially the SBs, are not only gay, they're also kind of pedo-ish. Does that make sense? Or am I being a bit weird? When I see these shoes, I think like, why would a grown man want to wear shoes that would attract the attention of children? Because I feel like only kids, like actual kids under 12, would be into these. Like, oh my God, sick, you got those, right? I don't know if a girl's going to find these cute. I don't think your fellow sneakerhead's going to find it cute or it's going to break their necks. But I feel like an actual child, if you walk past a primary school, might be actually, oh my God, those look so fucking cool. But then why would you want primary school kids to like be paying attention to, you know? I don't know. They kind of give me diddler. And then we look at the Verdi kid himself. Again, not to be mean. We're all, we're all not blessed with fucking drop dead gorgeous model looks. But he even he looks a little bit, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I see some of the Verdi designs and I think to myself, like, is he like designing like pedo SBs? Is that what he's kind of doing? Are these pedo dunks or are these just fun shoes that we should all be into? I don't know because I don't, again, as a colorway, I fucking think they're cool. As a application, I think they're super fresh. The mix of the plush pile and the corduroy and the fucking color combinations with the blue and the yellow and the pink and that tiffany greenish type of colorway i think they're amazing but i look at them and i think to myself like who would be impressed by these i don't think a girl that you want to fuck would like these she might she might question your zesty levels i don't think a fellow sneaker would be that impressed because they're a bit shit because they're limited edition right they're the classic shoe where if they weren't limited edition would they sell out i don't think so I think if these shoes are just like a standard shoe that you saw in office or in size, I don't think they sell out. I think they sell out because they're limited edition and because they're and because they're loud. Because they're loud, you're gonna see them and you'll be like, oh my god, these look crazy. Cool. But I think to myself, who in real life will see you wearing these and think, oh shit, I need those. They look amazing and ask you questions. I think children. I think if you walk through Westfield, if you walk through Box Park, if you walk through Hyde Park. If you walk through Victoria Park, parts of Hackney, maybe whatever, Lewisham, maybe some kids might run up to you and think, oh my God, this is so amazing. Especially if you've got one of these key rings next to your jeans on your backpack with the, with the, with the icon or bear that he designed as well. I don't know. And then I look at the guy as well that designs them, Verdi, right? Verdi designer. He also looks a bit suspect, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm reading too much into it and I'm being a little bit mean to him and what he looks like. But even the guy himself looks a little bit diddlery, you know? I'm not sure if I'm not sure if he if he's even a guy or a lesbian. I'm not sure because he kind of looks like a bit of a lesbian here. He kind of looks like a like you know, like a cool lesbian guy, a cool lesbian cat that we all know we've worked with. I'm not sure if it's a guy or a les. But either way, this person, Verdi, looks a little bit, you know, looks a little bit special. That's all I'm saying. So I'm not sure if I'm hating those shoes because I hate them. Or if I'm hating on the shoes because they look like kids trainers and they kind of look like shoes that you would attract children. And I don't really want to wear limited edition shoes that children will be into, personally. I know some people else might like them. Is that Jeff Staple? Of course Jeff Staple, they're fucking with his massive head. But maybe some people like to attract kids when they're wearing their shoes. But personally, I like to break the necks of grown adults, you know? I don't want literal 13-year-olds coming up to me saying, oh my God, I love your shoes. And asking me questions and making me talk to them like i would not like that now the colorways are fresh i look at the colorway he did for the sb air max eye shots like i think he's done he, i think he's his colorway designing skills are very good he's very very good at that so credit to him for that design ability and shit but i don't know man i don't know i look at some of this stuff and i think to myself Oof, i don't know if these are made for me or if i'm just hating i don't know either way decent enough dunk i'm curious to see what these go for resale wise when they eventually drop because i feel like a lot of people are just gonna buy these for the hype of it i feel like they're also an la an la streetwear sneaker like a any guy that's into streetwear in la would probably be wearing these with hellstar pants and shit this definitely looks like one of the type of shoes so i'm sure those la streetwear guys that think they're dressing but they aren't really are gonna love these but i personally hate them 
Um, it says Verdi and Nike SB Dunk Low Visti. They are going to be $135 releasing in September. Um, it's been months since we first caught the look of the Verdi's new Visti themed tank on the Dunk Low. Now the project has finally received a firm release date as the pair. Um, it's likely to be an SB iShot 2 counterpart is set to drop into... Okay, so there's there's going to be an SB... There's going to be an iShot pair and also the Dunk pair in the same colorway. Um, review our previous coverage below to complete breakdown. What's the complete breakdown here? We don't have much of it, but yeah, this is them on feet. They look pretty decent on the foot. Maybe those Nike product shots look much better. They probably pop a lot better on these Nike product shots. But these picture shots here in real life, they don't look that great. They're a bit more, the colors are a bit more muted than what you'd expect them to be. But still, pretty loud, pretty cool shoes, especially in the summer to wear, I'm assuming. But again, they look like shoes that kids would love and would come up to you and ask you questions. And I just don't know if I'm comfortable about having kids in Camden trying to touch my legs while I'm walking down the street. You know what I mean? I don't think that's on, personally. I don't think that's kind of cool, but I could be wrong. I could be fucking wrong. But they do look kind of decent. Not not mad at them in the slightest. I'm not mad at them in the slightest. So let's see when they do release. Maybe some people will like them. Maybe I'll be the only person out there hating on them. And that's okay, because it'll give most of you guys out there a chance to purchase them when they eventually do drop. That's all you can do. That's all you can do.